Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The way in which the European Union has evolved from an essentially trading organisation into a political one is reflected in the higher and more exacting standards applied to each new accession round. It's no longer a question of countries being able to sustain the obligations of the free market. We are increasingly making demands that touch on their judicial systems and their foreign policies. Now, I will take the same attitude to Serbia that I took to Croatian accession and that I would take to any of the other South Slav or Balkan countries. If I were Serbian, I would be very reluctant to surrender the advantages of a relatively educated workforce and relatively cheap exports to assimilate the corpus of EU social and employment law. But that is their decision. And if they vote to join, I will support it as I did in the case of Croatia. I do have to wonder, though, at the lack of historical imagination here on our side that in this centenary year of the Austro-Hungarian Memorandum to Serbia, we think nothing of making it a precondition that Serbia puts foreign powers in charge of its judicial system.